Did you ever need to sanitize data in your app? Hi, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and this is Talking to the Architect. And today I'll show you how to write a cloud job that sanitizes data for you. But before we jump into this class, I would like to invite you to the event that we're doing. There will be a link in the video description, so be sure to fo uh, follow that link and subscribe to the to the event so we can all share some knowledge and learn together. I'm going to go through all the aspects of the platform and answer questions online. So be sure you subscribe to that event. So here I have my uh, user class and I created a new property which is a date called last logged in. And I update this property every time the user logs in. So I always know when the user last logged in. And I'm going to create code that delete a user if uh, the user has not logged in for the last year. So to illustrate that, I'm going to add a new row, fill up the data. So my username, Alex K, my password, ABC123, my email, Alex at backfireapp.com and last logged in. But I'm going to change the date of today to one year before, so 2021, and also I'm going to choose the day seven, so it's more than a year that my user has not logged in, click add, and now this user is uh, added and has not logged in for the last year according to my property. So here on my cloud code section, I'm going to start by creating a parse cloud job called delete inactive, and I will async the request and arrow function that to uh, my code. Then I'm going to get the date, the today's date, by let my date equals new date. But I have to set the date of today to one year before. I'll do that doing my date dot set full year, my date dot get full year minus one, this minus one year, so 2022 becomes 2021. Then I'm going to declare a query on the user class. We do that by typing let user query equals new parse query and parse.user because the user class is a restricted class. So we have to instantiate it like this. Or if you use quotes, an underline user with uppercase. Then I'm going to set the uh, the date that I'm looking for, in this case, user query dot less than or equal to the name of my property, last logged in, and my date that I created up here, so it's one year prior to, the, to today. Then I'm going to find all the results. It is an asynchronous call, so we're going to do let results equals await user query dot find. Then I'm going to loop through the results and delete one by one. You could uh, get the results array and delete all using destroy, the destroy all method, but I myself don't like to do that. I prefer to loop. It's a personal uh, preference. Uh, if I have lots of records to delete, then probably the destroy all would be more effective and faster and more, uh, more performatic. But as I'm going to delete just one for this example, I'm going to run this for loop that will uh, loop through the results uh, array. And for every single one, I'm going to await the result index i dot destroy. And as the parse user is a restricted class, I'm going to use the master key uh, equals uh, true. With all that written, I'm going to deploy this code. And once deployed, we can go to the job section. And you see my delete inactive uh, job here. I can click run now, it will run for me. Success, I can check the status here on the job status, it will say it succeeded. And then go back here and refresh my users, you see the Alex was deleted, but Alison is still there because he logged in still today. So this is how you sanitize data. If you have lots of records, this is a very good approach for you to keep your data, database size small and very performatic. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. Also, share this video with a friend and they can learn something too. If you already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it on the comment sections down below. We always answer all the questions. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our, our event because it will be awesome. See you soon. Bye-bye.